yeah, it's hard. Um, it's hard to share um, what I've what I've experienced at this camp because there's so much in so many different areas. It's not just uh, you know rushing to get a project finished or to film a scene or to you know make sure everything's going well in the production standpoint, but also prayer is is emphasized just as much. If it's somebody who's not very religious, um, like kind of like still learning their faith, I tell them it's a great place to go. When I heard about um, the summer camps, I thought it was really neat, uh, in inviting the, the youth and teaching, teaching film, but also teaching with the faith. Oh, every year it's always a new adventure, it's new faces and the same faces. And that's the thing, you just, there's a family that's involved with, you know, what Brian has created and, you know, everybody just gets together, we all make it happen, we have a good time doing it, and it's a lot of hard work. A lot goes on behind the scenes that you don't really know about, so it's like, it's interesting to see. And I'm um, just setting up and I didn't know like what like a dolly was until I saw like the two pipes and like, you know, actually, like, I didn't know what I, I didn't know what it was. So I was just like, okay, the dolly, yeah, sure, yeah, let's go find the dolly, so I don't know, yeah. But, um, so yeah, no, yeah, I'm learning a lot. It was very, it impacted me tremendously. Like, she really opened up my eyes to like how different, like what she went through. And so I uh, put like acting as a different perspective. I, don't, I just can't explain, like last year, it was just like such a touching experience for me. Like, I almost felt like I was kind of losing my faith and then I came here thinking like oh it's just gonna be Catholic film camps everyone's gonna be younger than me and they're gonna be a whole bunch of like real like weird Catholics pushing me and like being like annoying and I was like I'm not gonna like this at all and I came here as the exact opposite there's like such cool people here I'm like oh they're all so cool and like everybody knows everything and everyone's just so friendly and nice and like you just feel God's grace and like you can't help but just change and want to just you can't just help but just like feel the grace of God. It's really strong and we're all like together and we daily mass and we pray together so and everyone's super nice and you can only like say that you know it's because of our faith that we share and so like it's hard not to grow closer to God with all the people here. Like all they ask is just go to church like go to church with us and just see for yourself that's pretty much what they do. They say, it's pretty much just see for yourself. We'll let God do its work. Back in 2007, when I read that quote from Pope Benedict, it was one of the reasons that inspired me to start film camp. It was something I always just felt in my heart to work with youth and to teach them about the intricacies of filmmaking and to kind of give them an idea of the, uh, the man behind the curtain. Society says that we, we shouldn't really, we don't have to teach them like theology or philosophy or really take them, take them deep. But yet we throw physics and all this hard stuff at them. But really, when you bring them to an environment like film camp, where it is solely centered around our Lord and that deepening relationship with Him, because we can always go deeper than that. And, and you see that they really are craving it and that they can handle it. It's definitely getting a lot stronger. Like I feel like going to daily mass has like, Im like made my faith a lot stronger. Like I look forward to it now. Like I used to look at Sunday mass as like this, this task that I had to do. And I was like, oh, I dread this. Like why do I have to sit in mass for an hour? But it's honestly not that bad. Like I don't know what I was thinking. The, the things I've learned here just my spiritual life has grown. It just makes you overall a better person being around people who are really close to God and they help bring you closer to God. It's always nice to see uh, young mentors who are trying to help people younger than them, you know, strive to, to grow in their faith or just in their, what their passion is, you know, to be encouraging and uh, just to give something a try, or something new. Um, but, and, uh, I think all of them portrayed that image very well. I mean, Brian, I mean, he's the perfect example of someone to have your job be your ministry. And um, I mean, he's a great father figure. He's a great role model to look up to. Um, and then, you know, all the way down, you know, Nicole, Brian, or Nicole, David, Michael, um, and Jackie, you know, they're all so great. You can, I can even tell that they're trying to be their best for us. 
I'm always curious who God is going to send to film camp. And uh, the one thing I do know is that he is going to speak to that person in a very uh, special way. I definitely think I was called to be here. I, I wasn't, I never thought I was supposed to be here the first year. It just kind of happened and this year there's no other place I'd rather be. Even coming this year, I felt like I was losing a little bit and I was like, so excited to come here. And I went to confession as soon as I got, like as soon as I got here the other day, I went to confession because I hadn't been time at home. I'm like, all right, I gotta start off fresh when I come here so I can really feel all the graces. And every day I'm feeling it a little by little. Uh, last year um, was my first year, so I didn't really you know, know what to expect and I really hadn't heard much about it you know, from other people. Um, so I was, I was mostly basing it off of uh, what I had seen, what they had done. I started film camp when I was 14, and my first year I didn't really know kind of like what to expect, and I didn't really know a lot was what was going on, like as far as like cameras and like staging and like positioning for acting, but like slowly throughout the week I got the hang of it. I mean, I've always loved acting, so I knew that it would be hard for me to come out of it because I knew that I would have to come out of my shell because I'm not like the loudest person, you know, I'm more quiet. But it was a lot of fun because she was such like a boisterous uh, character. Hey losers, I knew that I'd find you guys here. I'm on my way to Integra Data and you know, it just looks like that some people just don't know how to get ahead. It was kind of hard for me at first to like adjust to that. But then as like the week went on and I got more comfortable, it just became more normal just to like become that character. Coming into this film camp, I, want, I definitely wanted to go deeper into both my, my faith, but also, you know, production and learn some new things, uh, new techniques, new, um, new, new ways of, of telling a story. Just media in general is one of the main uh, influences on the lives of the youth and for most people for that example and a lot of it uh, has to do with kind of like you know with just the glamour involved so uh, training people in the proper use of the media training the youth in that proper use kind of helps keep media keeps film in its perspective you kind of have this idea of what the film industry is like and um, you know, it's just like, oh, let's just make movies and put it out there, see, see who watches it. Maybe I'll make it by myself, maybe I'll make it with some other people. So you, you, know, you think of it as kind of like a, your, own, your own project. And you come here and you see just what a, making a film is. If we, don't teach, uh, if we don't teach our youth how to properly engage the media, they're going to be overwhelmed by it. But if we can teach them how not to be swept away in the glamour of it all, then they can use it as a positive tool. I, I kind of didn't realize that media was something I could do when I was younger. It always kind of seemed like, oh, Hollywood, that's glamorized, that's expensive, I can't make it there. And God just kind of put people in my path who led me here. Pope Benedict also talks about how this training and the proper use of the media allows the viewer to look at it with eyes of discernment and not be swept away by the glamour of it all. Obviously, the production quality, I've learned more about that and just seeing you know where God calls people in the media to evangelize in a different way you know the media isn't evil it's a tool that we can use to bring the good it's just it's not bad it's just used in the wrong way uh, I think what Luminance is doing is uh, very unique and I really do think that um, I think I think groups like Lumen really should be all over for kids who want to learn film in general but also especially kids who who want to learn their faith my prayer for all of them is that so this is only three weeks of their life that, that we can at least help to create a solid base and show them that you can have a very beautiful routine and a very beautiful time with the Lord, that they will want to continue that and go off to wherever else you know, they're going. So that, that really is my prayer for them. You know, that, that's what makes this camp so special because everybody just, they're all here for the same purpose, to learn, to grow, grow in their spirituality, learn a technique, something they can take with them and go places with. I think the great part about film and film sets is you can't do a film with one person. 
you know, you, you need a lot of people to be together. Uh, and it, it almost provides a perfect opportunity to, for friendships to happen and for those, those conversations like, hey, what's that, what's that medal on your, you know, what is that? Or, you know, what's that cross? And, you know, and that's where it starts. And I think it's, it, it makes a great way to, to have conversations about the faith in a very uh, open uh, environment. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, think, I think what Lumen's doing is a great way to bring people together, bring kids together, and to really create that dialogue. I would say, like, there was a film camp I went to in Florida this summer. Even though I wasn't looking forward to it at the beginning of it, I kind of learned that it's important to, like, have a faith. And, like, even if you are, like, in a dark place in life, like, it's important to, like, look to God and be like, help me through this. Like, and it's, like, film is very interesting. <laughs> like, I didn't realize so much work went into it. I find it so encouraging seeing young people um, learning learning how to do film because those are going to be the kids that are going to be um, the future, and they're going to be entering into film into film, or they're going to be into advertising or, or whatever. They're going to be the people putting stuff on the screen. You know, all over the world today, we're challenged in our beliefs, and it's really nice to come to film camp and be able to talk with like-minded people who understand, you know, what it's like to be a Christian in the world today and have those you know, philosophical and theological conversations that really just go into our faith and, you know, how do we handle this when we go back out into the world where not everybody's going to be like-minded, you know, how do we present our media in a way that, you know, speaks the truth but doesn't, like, turn people away. You know, uh, John Paul II talks a lot about art and how uh, there's a lot of uh, that true art shows beauty in, in, in a way that attra attracts everyone. And you know, there's a saying that beauty will save the world. And I think that's, that's so true. And I think through art, uh, good art, you know, um, with substance is something that is very needed. Uh, and being able to, to, to use the faith to do that, I think is the best way to do it. If we continue to ignore this problem of the media and we don't teach our youth how to properly engage with it, and how to think critically through it, it's going to overwhelm them. I'm going to be um, tempted to hide it, hide my faith, and, and I hope and I pray um, that I, I don't because I won't be able to do anything. I won't be able to do anything that will please God or I won't be able to do anything that will be good for me in the future. Um, everything that is good for me, for my fellow, my fellow um, brothers and sisters, um, it's crucial that God leads that and that God is the source of that, of, of, those, of my mission and of my, my work and my production. Uh, and to see these kids, you know, praying the rosary together and, and to, to really be out there looking for true and good art and, and just art that's fun to do, um, I think is, is so inspiring to see and it gives us a lot of hope, uh, hope for the future. I had, uh, I had a parent come up to me and say, when is there going to be an adult film camp? And uh, so I, it is a lot of fun and uh, maybe we should do that.